Hello, my friends. Here we are for Facebook Live Thought Shifting Thursdays, and we're doing a little bit earlier today, 11 a.m. Pacific Time instead of noon Pacific Time, because my friends who are getting ready to, to take off on airplanes, some of them um, want to share with us. We just came back from a Primal Fire Spiritual Awakening Retreat, and so I titled this uh, video today, Spiritual, Spiritually Awakened. So it kind of occurred to me that maybe what we tend to think spiritually awakened is isn't really what spiritually awakened is. So what's spiritually awakened or what's your experience of this t retreat? Whoever wants to chime in first, and I'll get out of the way. Since I'm in the center here, I guess I could say something. I'm Kimani. I'll come up a little bit and talk to you. So, what was the question? What is spiritual awakened? What is spiritual awakened? What is spiritually awakened, or what did you experience this weekend? Because it's synonymous, right? Yes, <laughs> this weekend was really amazing. I believe spiritual awakened, which is what I experienced this weekend. Um, and what we continue to experience as we do this work right on the planet is really just acknowledging and recognizing your power and your oneness. So when you recognize your power, as I recognized my power, I realized well, it, it was always with me the whole time because we go through, I go through stages of feeling, stages of feeling connected to people, stages of feeling connected to experiences and events. And I took away this weekend because we were sharing in a circle and, it, and everybody said, well, I feel so connected to everybody. And what can be a habit is to compare experiences, right? So I could have said to myself, well, I don't feel as connected to everybody. What's wrong with me? Mm. And a part of a spiritual awakening is recognizing that who you are is exactly who you're supposed to be. And what I recognize is I feel really connected to myself. Uh -huh. I felt really deeply and profoundly in touch with not just my physical body but the core of me and in doing that I was able to feel connected to everyone else because oftentimes we reach out right to feel connected yeah. to other individuals and that leaves sometimes ourselves lacking or feeling like we're missing like hey what about me right so cool. I feel really good and connected so Sometimes I think we might think of spiritually awakened. Like some people are spiritually awakened, other people are less or more, whatever. Is some this individualized journey? But perhaps it's not. Perhaps spiritually awakened can really only happen in the collective. Yeah. So anyone want to comment on that or just share your experience? And that was Kamani and Mark. Come on forward. Take a minute or two and just share your experience. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, there were 25 of us on a completely deserted beach together, um, helping each other, supporting each other. That's what I got from seeing people support each other as a tribe. It's so beautiful. We did a lot of things together, a lot of circles and so forth. And uh, like Kamani, I felt uh, really connected to folks. Uh, my theme for this seems to be a revelation of trust. Learn to trust myself and trust everybody else. And we did an exercise that involved uh, releasing, and I was releasing any false pretext, anything that gets in the way of the center of being that's coming through me and expressing as me. And so uh, I just uh, enjoyed this retreat a lot. It's quite different in structure. Patrick does a marvelous job of keeping things going and providing uh, spiritual exercises and uh, explorations that are challenging yet uh, comfortable that nobody has to do anything that they don't want to do uh, I particularly enjoyed the sweat lodge and uh, all of that, that that revealed so maybe others would like to talk but trust trust oneself always trust trust the divine trust love trust peace trust joy it's a beautiful experience oh, oh, man. Oh. Oh. who wants to step in Lose. Okay. God, I have an issue moving. Can you just switch the camera? A little tired? Uh, no, yeah. not that. It's just the position of my phone. All right, she's um, coming in. This is Lose. 
<laughs> we're all a little tired from four call. days of hiking. Okay, and... now I need help. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Luz de Alba, and uh, I I felt <laughs> these last few days were just um, beautiful, grounding, um, just uh, spending days and days just laying on Mother Earth and allowing Mother Earth to just work its beauty and its energy through our beings as we rest we fell asleep upon her, we woke up upon her, we, we feasted with her and the ocean was the frame framework with the mountains and we were right there in the middle of all of that. That was just a, just a, a beautiful and a well needed experience because there's nothing like grounding with Mother Earth. Um, she has this beautiful, subtle, nurturing energy that cleanses our, our minds, our hearts, our souls and wipes clean so many things within us and sometimes it's not until months later that you realize that certain things have already been removed and to come together with like-minded people and to be in celebration, to be in a place of just uh, releasing anything that um, that would demonstrate a mask and just be raw and just mm. be present and, and, and totally naked <laughs> in, on, on so many levels. <laughs> we're, we're laughing because it's the first time of fire uh, retreat that we did have massive nudity. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, we were skinny dipper. It, it wasn't planned. It just... It's, oh, yoga. <laughs> It, un it unfolded, and I think that was the beauty of it. it there was nothing planned. It, we just went with the energy, and the energy uh, was such that it welcomed that experience, and people were extremely comfortable, and we embraced one another. And um, That's how I, safe. Safe, uh, exactly. People felt, and free people felt. That yeah, was safe an expression of safety. Uh -oh. and exactly, uh -oh. exactly. So I'm looking forward. Um, this is not like a, oh, a vacation. <laughs> this is a this is a, a well needed. I mean, it's like when you go for your uh, yearly physical. This is your soul physical. Uh, you, you have to oh. go for your annual soul physical. So this awesome. this was my checkup. Uh, See you next year on my checkup. <laughs> Hi everyone, Angelica here. Uh, this is uh, my first time at one of these events, and uh, it was pretty amazing. The word I have is connection. Connection to yourself. Really paying attention to yourself, to your thoughts, how you show up, how you are received, your connection to the earth. Uh, the simplicity of camping might be uncomfortable, but it shows you so much. The, com the connection to our tribe. And so we sh I showed up as... Um, with a group of strangers and now I leave with family because of that connection. We established trust and caring and it starts with you. If you show up 100% completely and your brother and sister shows up as well, then you create this magic where you need nothing. The universe provides. You forgot your stove, you forgot something, somebody else is going to have it for you. And the thing also that I'm getting is, in spiritual awakening, you want to you wanna have this like, ah! moment, where like, the heavens part and God speaks to you and you are now healed. But it's, in this humble simplicity, it's with a hummingbird that, flies by right at the, say, at the right time mm. or an ego that shows himself or a crow on top of a hill that All is mimicking what you are saying and it's almost like the mother earth saying yes I see you I agree with exactly what you're saying um, so it's really about taking yourself out of the equation because behind the fear is your greatest it turned black is it still on 
I want to make sure that we're still on. <laughs> I think it is. Well, you're here. I think it timed out. No, Facebook here. is still going, but. You want to make sure we're here? Yeah. Yes. We're still here. Here we are. <sighs> yes, connection to self, to earth, to tribe. And when we have this container, then magic happens. Mm -hmm. um, can't wait till next year. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hi, everyone. This was my second Primal Fire retreat, and I have to say, this was uh, the most intense, heart-opening experience I have had. Mm. You're there for four days, three nights, on, on a private beach, all by yourself, I mean, in a group of like-minded beings. But I have to say, this the love and support that you feel from the community, from your tribe, is something that will change your heart, that will melt your heart no matter what your story is, no matter where you come from. And this heart-opening experience is something that you take with you back into the world, being more open-minded, being more kind, being more loving. And yes, it, I understand it, it happens at times you know, when you have to stand in your power to maybe protect yourself, to protect your loved ones. It can be a harsh experience out there in the world which can build walls around you. But when you're in the community of a loving tribe, of people who are always loving and supporting, it makes a world of difference. If you said in the, in the first person, it's that's what you experienced, right? <laughs> yes. Right. And look, my co-facilitator and uh, loving wife and being just walked up. She's right there. She's on her way out, but she might say something. <laughs> I caught her. Hello, people. What was your biggest takeaway from this weekend besides being tired? <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. Claiming um, my role as a leader. Oh, oh. That mm -hmm. was really big oh. for me this year. Oh. And connecting. And um, I did an awesome, awesome uh, women's circle, mm -hmm. ah, which ah, was oh. just so powerful. <laughs> it was just beyond what I had imagined that it would be like. And all those hearts and all those minds opening up and sharing from their heart, it was just unreal. So yeah. I'm very thankful for that. Beautiful. All right, it's called the, the Primal Fire Spiritual Awakening Retreat, and if you've seen me talk about it before, you know I'm not doing this to promote it because <clears throat> we don't need to. We always fill up by word of mouth. I'm sharing this because as we experience in the circle, everyone, this is what everyone needs, is this the kind of connectivity with each other, with Mother Earth, with Father Sky. And so we want to spread the word so it, it you know find you know you can you can you can get on board and come with us next year um, or find some place where you can do the same thing it doesn't have to be with us but find a place where you can reconnect that's what we need in our culture we've gotten so far away from our natural roots that's why that's one reason it seemed like the easiest way to do this but also it's perfect that we're sitting on mother earth right now talking to you because that's what we've been doing for four days and um, man I just love these people this was the, the, the most profound retreat we've ever, we've ever done because every single person as I experienced had an amazing awakening and uh, what that does to the collective is just amazing I, I'm thinking about Kathy who came into the circle she knew no one um, at all except for her uh, boyfriend that she came with who's been to I think uh, five or six of these some in Canada and some here and uh, she was like super afraid to speak to talk and, b and by the last day she was all in man and she was uh, free. She acknowledged the experience the transformation that occurred with her right. yeah. and, and, and you can see it in many people uh, some of the conversations we were in mm. and were facilitated and, and some just two on two were just amazing 
and the depth that a person can go when they really feel that freedom, that connection, that love that comes from each heart and creates a safe, safe chalice, a safe, safe place. And while, you know, I facilitate and Karina facilitates with with me, it's a lot of work, just the camping and all that stuff, but as far as the facilitation, I don't have to do much because nature helps create the bond and then it's really about the energy that, and intentionality that everyone brings. So listen, we love you and uh, our friend's got to take off on an airplane now, so we're going to say goodbye and we'll see you next week for Thought Shifting Thursday. We love you always, all my friends that are on here, Marianne Lockhart and let's see, who else? Reverend JB and there's a bunch of other people on here. Um, moment in meditation. Sibe Ariamariar. <laughs> Sorry, I mispronounced that. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you soon. Have a great uh, rest of your week. Bye. 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 That was cool. That was cool.